Welcome to Salem, Massachusetts, USA, also known as the City of Witches. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Salem. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Salem, Massachusetts, USA. Population around 45,000. Now just for context, we have a map here. We have circled Salem. Salem is 35 minutes from Boston. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Salem. People love Salem because of the Peabody Essex Museum. At the extraordinary Peabody Essex Museum, you can see collections of maritime art, American decorative arts, and historical and contemporary arts from China, Japan, Korea, India, Africa, North America, and the Pacific Islands. Perhaps most outstanding is the chance to explore inside the Wan family's two century old ancestral home brought here and assembled from China's Weizhou region. Also part of the Peabody complex are several historic houses open to visitors including the 1684 John Ward House, the 1727 Cronin Shield Bentley House and the Brick Gardner Pingree House 1804 with an elegant interior including work by master builder Samuel McIntyre. People love Salem because of the House of the Seven Gables the House of the Seven Gables site is a collection of colonial homes including one of the oldest surviving 17th century wooden mansions in New England built in 1668. Nathaniel Hawthorne used the House of Seven Gables as a setting for his famous novel of the same name. Guides will lead you up curving secret staircases and recount the history of its former occupants as you view period artifacts, photos and paintings. Nathaniel Hawthorne's 1804 birthplace, which has been restored to its 1808 appearance, has been moved to the same grounds, which also includes four other houses listed on the National Register of Historic Places. People love Salem because of the Maritime National Historic Site. The Salem Maritime National Historic Site includes about 9 acres along the waterfront and 12 historic buildings preserving Salem's late 18th and 19th century marine history which helped establish economic independence in the fledgling United States. This is also the permanent home of the Tall Ship Friendship, a reconstructed 18th century commercial sailing vessel which you can tour in the summer. At the historic site, you can view exhibits, watch two free orientation films, and glimpse into the lives of author Nathaniel Hawthorne or America's first millionaire, Elias Haskell Derby, during hour-long free guided tours. Derby's 1762 home is also open to visitors. People of Salem because of the Witch House. Jonathan Corwin, one of the magistrates in the witch's trial, lived in this large house built in 1642. It's the only structure still standing in Salem with direct ties to the witchcraft trials of 1692. Witch House has been preserved in its original appearance and is an excellent example of Salem's 17th century architecture. You'll find the guided tours here especially interesting, blending information about lifestyles, furnishings, and architecture of the time with insights into Corwin's role in the events of 1692. With the proliferation of witch-related tourist attractions with similar names, it can be difficult to sort out the genuine from the rest, but this is the only site actually connected to the trials. People of Salem because of the Stephen Phillips Memorial Trust House. The house is a federal style home featuring Chinese porcelains, Persian carpets, paintings and early American furniture. The collection spanned five generations of the Phillips family, highlighting African wood carvings and Native American pottery. What you'll find most fascinating about the Phillips house is the way it shows how a real family collects in a home generation after generation instead of stripping away all the later years and leaving only the items of a particular period. People love Salem because of the proximity to Rockport, Massachusetts. The red fishing shack with its lobster boys is so often painted and photographed as the iconic New England fishing harbor that is known as motif number one. Art galleries and studios still dot the streets of this picturesque little fishing town and Rockport is known for the number of artists that make the area their home. The Rockport Art Association and Museum holds summer exhibits featuring members' art and photography, and several local artists have their own galleries. 
the Sandy Bay Historical Society and Museum, the Old Castle, and the James Babson Cooperage Shop will interest the historically minded. The greatest local curiosity is the Paper House, built in 1922 entirely of newspaper, as is the furniture inside. Deep sea fishing and seal watching cruises lead from the Tea Wharf in Rockport. People love Salem because of its proximity to Gloucester, Massachusetts. The sea, boats, and fishing have occupied this workaday Cape Ann fishing harbor for centuries, a tradition commemorated in the bronze statue of the Gloucester fishermen on the waterfront and in the five-day St. Peter's Festival organized by the Gloucester Italian-American community in late June. Gloucester's picturesque artist colony of Rocky Neck, one of the country's oldest working art colonies, is still filled with studios and is one of the most popular places to go. People love Salem because of Hammond Castle Museum. Hammond Castle was built between 1926 and 1929 by inventor John Hammond Jr. in the style of a medieval castle to house his personal collection of Roman, medieval, and Renaissance artifacts. While he was gathering these on his frequent trips to Europe, he also collected architectural bits and pieces as well as interior features that he incorporated into the building. People love Salem because of Beauport. Beauport was built by Henry Davis Sleeper in 1907 as a summer home and expanded for the next 27 years until it reached its present 40 rooms. He filled these with his collection of American and European art, curiosities, folk art, china, and colored glass gathered from his travels and his work as an interior designer. He also collected entire room interiors which he incorporated into the ever-expanding home. People of Salem because of Marblehead. Settled in the early 1600s by families escaping the religious intensity of the Puritans in Salem, Marblehead soon became an important fishing port. By 1837, the town's fleet numbered 97 vessels, nearly all of them over 50 ton. Today, Marblehead's seagoing fame comes as a sailing and yachting center, where in the summer you can see one of the world's finest assemblies of sailing craft. The annual Midsummer Marblehead Race Week, dating back to 1889, brings yachtsmen from around the world. The reasons provided in this video are not all the reasons why people love Salem. If you've got a reason why you love Salem, pop it in the comments section. I'll make another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao for now!